this is Brian with ActiveMelody.com. And this week's micro lesson, I'm going to show you how to play uh, a blues rhythm that maybe you've never played before. And the purpose of this lesson is to get you thinking outside of the box. A lot of us get stuck when it comes to playing rhythm. We're playing cowboy chords, just strumming those, or we're playing the old, you know, 12 bar shuffle thing. But we're not sure what else we can do to make our rhythm playing more interesting. So that's what this lesson was designed for. If you like this lesson and you like these little nuggets of information like this, I've got a whole section on the Active Melody website, which is activemelody.com slash micro. And you can see all of the other micro lessons I have. I've got this micro lesson split into two parts. In this video, we're going to take a look at the first half. If you'd like to watch the second half, as well as download the tablature for this, you're going to want to go to activemelody.com slash micro and then do a search for ML026. That's the lesson number for this lesson. So let's go ahead and break down part one. All right, so the key to this whole thing is what the right hand is doing. A lot of times we get caught up, so caught up in what the left hand is doing, but the driving rhythm happens with the right hand. Let me play through just a little bit of it and watch my right hand. Watch how it stays in motion the whole time. doesn't matter if I'm doing the chord part or if I'm doing the, the lead part. That motion never fails or never breaks. And I always, uh, and I've mentioned this before, I always think about putting a drumstick in my hand and hitting a snare drum. That's what it kind of feels like to me as you're, as you're playing that. So just keep that in mind as we go through this. And in the beginning, you're going to want to slow this down and play it at a speed that's comfortable. So the first thing we do with the left hand is we make an E chord down here. And then we're going to play a down and an up. So think of that as hit maybe the bottom three strings of that chord and then the top three strings. It doesn't have to be exactly that, but that's kind of in essence what you're doing. Down, up. Now we're going to do a muted down and a muted up. So all together we have... Now if you have the tablature, you'll see I've got the, the strum uh, marks in the tab. That'll help with this. But if you're just watching this video and you're following along that way, that's fine. Just you might want to write down what the, the strum pattern is. but So it's down, up, muted down, muted up. And you just put your fingers here and rest them over the strings to kind of block the sound. Like that. And then we're going to play an A chord. And what I do is I use my ring finger and just bar the first four strings on the second fret. And I'm only playing strings 5, 4, 3, and 2. Now you may want to use your index finger or even your middle finger, whatever's most comfortable. I just find it easiest if you look at the E chord to A chord, it's a very easy transition there. So it's two down strokes, down, down. The right hand never breaks its rhythm though. So if we back up from the beginning, we have. Now I'm going to play, I'm going to go back to the E chord with the left hand, do an up stroke and hit the E chord. And then I'm going to do a muted down and a muted up. So it goes like this. So I know it seems kind of foreign, but let me back up and I'll do this slowly up to that point. Let me do it one more time. Now, your hand is in the up position so that it can come right down and play this little lead part that goes. Let me do that cleaner. And all I'm doing for that is a downstroke and a downstroke. So two downstrokes of the right hand. The left hand, I use my middle finger and I come up here to this. I start on the second fret, second string, and I slide up to the third fret and slide back down to the second fret. All I'm playing is, I'm thinking of the minor pentatonic scale for, for E. So I'm sliding into it. And then I take my middle finger off and I play the open one and two string with an upstroke with the right hand. So we have down, down, up. So let's back up and play everything up to that point. Now I'm going to play with my middle finger on the second fret, third string. And then I'm going to do an upstroke on the third string with no hand on the fretboard so that I can do a hammer on to the first fret third string. So it goes, that's an upstroke. So when all together it goes. And that's what that little lead part goes. And then we're right back to the 
to the low sixth string or the, the bottom part of the chord and the up and the top part. So it makes it a little loop. But the right hand never breaks at all. It stays in motion. It feels very comfortable once you get that motion going. So you can see at some parts I'm hitting the whole uh, all six strings and in some parts I'm just focusing on this the top three strings there just to play that little lead part but the motion stays constant. All right, so that's a wrap for the first part of this. Now, if you want to watch what we ought to play over the four and five chord, you're going to want to go to part two. Again, that's at activemelody.com slash micro. Do a search for ML026. Let me back up and play through this one more time, and that'll be the conclusion of this blues rhythm. Mm -hmm. 